Hey, it's Wendy Lane Wright, the Hollywood Talent Manager, and I am live here with Bonnie Poyer, who is a leading headshot photographer in Los Angeles, and actually her tagline specifically is the headshot photographer for actors who don't like to pose. That's interesting. Why did you come up with that? Tell me. Why? Um, because it's exactly what I do. Um, I like to, well, okay, posing is the physical, right? So of course you have to physically position somebody for them to look good on camera. Yeah. But afterwards I drop all that and it's all about engaging my subject in some sort of a game, some sort of improv, some sort of back and forth acting so that they're out of their head and they're in the moment and they're reacting to me. So rather than asking them to smile, I do things to make them smile, which is a very different experience than just like posing and then, okay, smile. Right. Oh, that makes such sense because they're actively, they're being authentic. Yeah, exactly. They're catching like really authentic emotions and, and feelings and attitudes because they're playing games and they're responding in the moment. Exactly right. Yeah. So, so, you know, so if you don't like to pose and there are people that I'm not right for and the people that I feel like are not a good fit for my style are the people who insist on posing and fight that process of not posing. So like the people who have practiced their mirror face and know exactly how they want to angle their face and just like, don't want to, you know, like resist doing anything organic. Those are not my clients, you know, and they that makes sense. Be. But I think, you know, I think it's important that uh, a lot of actors, if you're watching right now, you may be on your second, third headshot session and you're not getting what you want because maybe you haven't shot with somebody who really is fantastic at taking headshots and who gets you out of your head and is in the moment because a lot of, I think the wrong kind of headshots are, okay, raise your head a little bit, a little bit to the right. Okay, now smile, now a little bit more. Well, bring it, bring it, make it bigger. Make it. That's, that's yeah. totally opposite of what you should be doing. Yeah. Like yeah, that is definitely not. Yeah, and like, you know, that whole thing, like a good headshot has something going on in the eyes. And so we gotta like position you like this so that we can take a nice, you know, that, yeah, uh, no. <laughs> no. The only thing that, the only thing that really brings something in the eyes is a, an actual thought, an actual yeah. moment, you know? And a not real that. feeling, a real yeah. moment, feeling, yeah. an experience. And I know you agree with that because you you're, you tell your actors that they need to think thoughts, right? And yes, but what I out. like about you is you take that further. Don't just think the thoughts. Let's get it into the body and move around and, and play with it and get spontaneous. I actually have you say the thoughts out loud. Like, say them you're out with loud. me. You're with, like, we're acting, literally. We're playing back and forth, back and forth. And I'm shooting, I'm shooting. So they know when I'm going to shoot and I know what's coming. So I shoot at the right moment because a lot of times there's that disconnect because what I was telling you, you know, before is that it's difficult to have those thoughts in your head when the photographer's not there with you because they're clicking, but you don't know when they're clicking and you're not clicking, so to speak, <laughs> pardon the pun, but you know, like you're doing it at the wrong moment and he's snapping at the wrong moment. Whereas if it's literally done, like we are literally engaged in conversation and an acting game and improv, then you know when I'm going to shoot and I know when you're going to do what I need. So, so you get, on the, same page. You get on the same page. What do yeah. you think makes an effective headshot, you know, a headshot itself? Yeah. Okay. So it's not all in the eyes. Like <laughs> that's not what makes an effective headshot. I think what makes a really good headshot is being very specific with your target market, meaning the character type you are auditioning for in that headshot and knowing your overall brand. So your brand is sort of, um, uh, let's say your outfit and the uh, marketing looks the character types in your headshots are the different hats you might be able to wear with that same outfit. So give me an example. Like if I put on, give me an example of that. So, um, so getting specific means, for example, not just girl next door, but um, is she the hipster? Is she the love interest? Is she the best friend? Is she the athletic? These are all subcategories of girl next door. I see. So the more specific you are, the more effective your headshot gets. And I then teach, I teach actors and tell me if I'm right yeah. or wrong about this. And you can tell me publicly if I'm wrong. 
Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> Can I embarrass you publicly? Please? Yes, you may. Embarrass okay. you publicly. I have duck feathers. Things just roll off of me. I can uh, okay, got it. <laughs> I have permission. Got it. Yeah, you can say whatever you want to say. Um, I teach actors, uh, watch television look at the types of roles that you are right for, like figure out what kind of roles you're right for. Everybody doesn't play everything. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and a lot of times you come out of theater school and you think I can play everything and no, you can't mm -hmm. in theater. You maybe played a tree or you played an old person because right. there were no old people, but now because right. TV is, you know, not cast the same way theater. So watch TV and say, okay, I could have played that role, that role. Those are the kind of roles I really could play. And yeah. then, um, dress to suggest those types of characters and then come into that session kind of prepared. Like these are, I've made a list. <laughs> Maybe yeah. you have a board with pictures and samples, but yeah. I have a list of what I think my types are and what, I, what I'm working with, but how do you like them to work with you? Does that help you when you, they come in prepared like that? Or do you like to help them get prepared? I think preparation is key. Mm. Um, but what you're doing is so wrong. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you. Okay, good. I'll never do it again. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, no, I think preparation is key. And I definitely appreciate when people are prepared and they do their homework. And I think what you're telling them is partly good, but there's a there's sort of a warning there. Tell me more. So um, I think it's very important to do to watch TV and find yourself in you know TV and film and find like what characters you would play, right? However, when it comes to preparing wardrobe, what I see over and over again is um, people look at how a character dresses on TV and then that's those are the clothing that they bring to a headshot session. But the problem with headshots is that it's a, it's a still photo, it's a tight close-up, there's no dialogue, so you have to be more on the nose. Whereas in TV film, there's, uh, there are other actors, there's dialogue, it's a moving picture. So there's context and you immediately understand who the character is. Oh, so with a headshot, you have to, like if you wanna be an office worker, for example, mm -hmm. Um, like I, I would have somebody bring in like a shirt like this and just say, you know, like this character on that TV show and her job is an office worker. However, if we want the headshot to say office worker and we want to submit that for anything that's under the business category, yeah. this will just read as girl next door. It exactly. will not read the office. So for office, mm -hmm. we absolutely need a button down. So right. I do have my own wardrobe guidelines that I send, but you know, with headshots, you just have to remember, you have to be more on the nose. And then once you get the job, the character is going to dress many different ways, but to get that audition, you need to be very clear um, in just such a very, you know, confined space that you yeah. are office worker, you are suburban mom, you are hipster, you know, more on the nose. Yes. That makes perfect sense. I think uh, I work with so many new actors that yeah. have, that have paid hundreds and hundreds of dollars to shoot with headshot photographers that don't, don't know what they're doing. And, and, and that, that translates into 500 photos with almost the same expression in every photo with just a little bit like, yeah. Different. So yeah. I am against those kind of headshots. I know every agent and manager that we get those kind of headshots for like, I oh know. my God. I know. Stop it. Stop it with that. Yeah. So how do you avoid, I think your technique avoids getting those kind of little, th those horrible exactly. people. Yeah. Because they say, can you help me choose between these such they're the same. Right. Right. <laughs> what am I choosing between your mouth is a little higher than the other. <laughs> it's right. like, right. you're going to change your energy. And so can someone wear an outfit and then change their energy and their feeling yeah. and their attitude and their emotion in that same outfit? Well, that's the other half of the question, what makes an effective headshot, oh. being specific, but also showing your personality and the per your personality authentically, but it has to also match the character. So when I'm doing those improv games, the goal is to give you an emotional arc from like the emotional arc of that character. Like what, so I, like the games I play are geared towards making it truthful for that character. So I, what if I'm playing a nurse, what would you do with that? Yeah. 
So for the nurse, there's two things we can do. Nurse can be theatrical and commercial. So for the commercial stuff, I would play games that make you smile authentically. And then for the theatrical stuff, I would play games where you're very empathetic. So for like, let's say suburban mom um, who wants to be quirky for like sitcoms, I do, I play games that bring those quirky expressions. But again, each character gets an arc, an emotional arc. And then the key is in editing in post. Like I'm just, I shoot four or 500 pictures, but I don't give them all to you. Nobody wants to go through that. So I get rid of repeats. So, you do? It, I do. And it makes me look like a genius because people are like, oh my God, every frame is different. <laughs> it's because if they're the same, why should I leave it in there? Like, and just that's you know, why agents and managers love you. <laughs> they do. They really do. They're like, no, no, it's quality, not quantity. You know, giving you 500 images isn't going to make your manager happy. <laughs> no, it makes us not happy. Yeah. <laughs> it us, it's the most dreaded part of and my job always was like going through headshot sessions that all look alike. I, I hate that. Better. I love sending actors to you. I've been sending actors to you for years because I know they're going to get amazing headshots. They're full of life. They're full of energy. They're full of personality. They're, they're just beautiful images too. You know, they're just beautiful images. How can people set up a session to shoot with you? Oh, my website. Um, just contact me through my website, poyephotos.com. But Bonnie Poye takes you there too. I got the domain. Because Girl Be Branded. Photography takes you there. They, they all take you there. Awesome. Uh, um, but yeah, uh, one thing I do have, um, and I'm happy to give you the link um, mm -hmm. if you want to share that with this video. I don't know how you guys do that because I, I know you can. Anyway, um, but I do have a um, wardrobe uh, guideline that actors can download oh, wow. and that's a nice start and you know just for them for preparation for different looks and how to dress the different looks that's awesome then, is yeah. that available on your website yeah it's on my web it's on the home page right there and then I also have a list of popular looks that agents and managers are asking for right now so that's kind of like my collective knowledge from all the agencies that you know like send me their clients and then like I see what their requests are. So there's trends and like yeah. I update this list a lot. So it, it's categorized into each age group. Yeah. So another way, like after they watch those TV shows and like if they've had that direction from somebody, then I tell them, well, go look at that list. Now define those characters mm -hmm. in headshot terms, you know? That you can so, see. Let me ask you another question. Just makes me think, what are what is one of the biggest mistakes actors make when they go to shoot headshots, in your opinion? Oh, oh, thinking that headshots are about looking glamorous. That's the biggest mistake. It, it's not about selling glamour. You're not famous yet. It's about selling the characters you can play and dressing the characters, not dressing yourself. Wow, that's so important. Yeah. And, and way too much makeup in a lot of these when new people start out sometimes yeah. and pictures that don't look like them on a great day because they're glamorous, too glamorous, right? It, because that's the two being too. And yeah. And you know what we do with those headshots? We throw them out. What are we going to yeah. do with headshots that look too glamorous for 99% of the roles we're submitting you for? Yeah. Yeah. People need to get that. Get it, people. I get mean, it. <laughs> look at the Handmaid's Tale. She doesn't wear makeup in that entire show like through in the entire show. Exactly. You know? Yeah. And also, you know, what's a nice thing is sometimes like take it all off at the end of a session. Like, I don't know, yeah. sometimes you can just take it all off and just be raw, you know? We do that. You do? Yeah, it's the down and out girl. Girl, you are the yeah. smartest headshot photographer I know. <laughs> Because it's so true. We need those photos. What if yeah. I'm going to shoot you? You're a homeless girl. You're a street girl, a street right. guy. We don't need you in a nice suit with your hair all perfect. Let's see you look like a mess. Right. Yeah. If you, you can have it, a variety. It your brand to play that role. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 You can have a variety of photos on your actor's axis and you right. should. A variety of photos. Um, and what about maybe shooting more than one session that you get a, like a certain amount of looks with you, four or five looks when they shoot with you, then come back next year for another photo session with you. And then you get different days, different times, different looks. Yeah. Interesting. You say that because I recently had a client. So a year ago we had done like her staple looks. Okay. So like the mom, the business, yeah. um, you know, just like her stable, like the, the girl's night out. And then 
a year later, after seeing the, uh, what do you call it, when they ask you for the submissions, the submission list? Submission report. Mm -hmm. The submission report. So she saw on the submission report what she wasn't getting called in for. So a year later, and it wasn't the staple stuff we had done. So a year later, she came back and she wanted more specific, like uniform shots to get in on those calls that she wasn't getting called in for. So like the customer service or like the blue collar. So we got even more specific based on that research she did, you know, in that year. That, that, that makes such good sense to, to get that submission report from your agent. You don't need it every month, but if you get it every six months, that'll give you an idea of what you're being submitted for that year. And then that's a brilliant idea. Look and see, because yeah. if you haven't been submitted on certain roles that you really could play, it's because you don't have headshots that match that. Yeah. You don't. Yeah. The more headshots you give us that match the roles you can play, the better chance we have of getting you in the audition room. So yeah. I want to also tell you that Vani has a, a blog on her website that is so informative. Go check out her blog, check out her website and follow her on Instagram and all the social media. And if you're looking to shoot for headshots when you're in LA, please book a session with her. I promise you're going to get great headshots from her. And she really knows how to work with actors and make you feel comfortable. She's so easygoing. She's so awesome and cool. You're going to love working with her. And um, yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for taking time today to spend time to educate actors. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thank you. And this is Wendy Lane Wright, the Hollywood Talent Manager. For more tips, tricks, and insider information about the business, please feel free to watch my upcoming reels. And I'll see you on the red carpet. Thank you.